Welcome back guys. In the last lecture we have created the pages for users list and doctors list and also completed the API endpoints for get all users and get all doctors. So now in this lecture we are going to fetch the data to the UI and we are going to represent in the form of entity tables. So let's open the pages. First we are going to work on the users list then we will be working on the doctors list. So after this uh, h1 I am going to write a query. So let me copy uh, before copy we have to write the use effect use effect so I just write get users data this is the function and here I am going to execute the function const get users data so above this I am going to write two things first const users and uh, set users initially it is mtra set users initially it is mtra and i want to make this function async so here uh, by default it is going to call the try by try catch block should be present and here i am going to write const dispatch is equal to use dispatch use dispatch first in the try block dispatch show loading dispatch show loading import dispatch show loading from the import show loading and uh, hide loading from uh, redux slash alert slice so here I'll just write const const response is equal to await axios dot axios dot get axios also needs to be imported import axios from axios so axios dot get the endpoint will be slash api slash admin slash get all users so this is get all users yeah exactly so payload will be empty and headers will be uh, authorization obviously local storage dot get item it's not header uh, authorization authorization local storage dot get item token along with bearer so bearer and here the local storage dot get item should be in the dollar symbol oh curly brace why it is two times yeah now it is perfect so we have the response and we have the api call now after getting the response i'll just check if response dot data dot success i'm going to write set users response dot uh, and also after the response we are going to write dispatch hide loading yeah dispatch hide loading in the catch block also dispatch height loading that's all I think use effect is not defined let's import this uh, yeah I think we are good let me open and check the console not console in the network users get all users got auth failed so authorization is getting failed something went wrong uh, let me refresh once still getting the same thing let's check whether we are sending authorization okay let's copy the authorization from here keep it as it is
yeah now we got different error cannot proxy i think the backend server has crashed oh no it's working slash api slash admin slash get all users Axios dot get. Let's go to the admin route. Router dot get all users. So in the catch block, we are printing the error. Mm. Okay. Actually, this is users. Here also users. still it is crashing authentication failed mm, oh, it is showing auth fail i think in the get request uh, we need no we have to send the headers in the first parameter let me check or else we will do the post request directly okay let me refresh Yeah, so I think now we got the response. You can, here you can see users fetched it successfully. So we got three users. I think we cannot send the payload uh, if we have the get request here in the second parameter. So that is the issue maybe. So if you want to send the payload, you just have to use the what it is uh, post method. That's all. So now we have to create the columns for the table. Const columns is equal to so there is only one condition while creating the columns. So if you go to the entity table for every column, you will be having the properties like uh, title and data index title. You can give anything, but data index must match with the API parameters like this. You have to give these data indexes only. So now, mm, yeah, here, right. So the first one will be, I'm going to write title is equal to name and data index is equal to name. So then it will be email. Data index will be email. We also have the third parameter key. If you want to give, you can give else ignore. So we don't have the title for the, we don't have the phone number for the user. So we can give title name created it. Created at, oh, sorry. Title will be created at created it and uh, data index is equal to created it later we are going to change the format by using the moment and the last one will be actions so actions data index is equal to actions so we'll be having a method called as the render which will be having the parameters text and record so here in this text and record we are we can render anything so first i'm going to render a div so I am going to make this div as display flex class name is equal to uh, D flex. So in this we will be having the a complete row details in the record. So we can do whatever we want with the row. That means a single user or single doctor. So now uh, I'll have two H1 text, which will be a class uh, anchor. So it will be having the text like uh, this is the user, right? We can have block. We can have block method. So if we click on the block, it is going to be blocked. The user going to be blocked. That's it. So now we got the columns. We got the data. Now I'll just write table from the entity, not tabs. It's table table from the entity. So for this table, the two required props are columns and data source columns are nothing but what we have written now. Columns is equal to columns. And the next one will be data source data source is nothing but the data what you want to put it into the table. So we I want to put it the users data. That's all. Now let's see. Loading here you can see I got the users list. So name, email, created it and block. 
so when we click on this block we are going to uh, block the user so later we are going to work on the user functionalities uh, and uh, admin functionalities that means how the admin can block the user approve the user reject the user all the things so first of all we are going to get the list that's all so this is about the users list now let's go to the doctors so doctors uh, just copy these columns paste it in the doctors list we will be having different columns but let's paste it and also copy the users list not users list use effect put it here and copy the function also along with the uh, state variables so instead of users I am going to make it doctors here also set doctors doctors uh, here also set doctors and also in the return content we will be having the table I will copy the same thing data source will be doctors now so get all users should be replaced with get all doctors mm, I think we are good so we just need to have the import statements as it is what we have in the users list control s yeah we are good we need to replace the columns so here name name is the combination of doctor first name and last name so for that you just have to write the render method so if you want to do anything with the manipulation we are going to use the render method so in the render I am going to write a normal text with the dot card text card text oh it's a h1 right h1 dot card text mm, sorry okay first let me write h1 h1 so class name will be card text and here it should be the combination of record dot first name and oh we don't require this uh, dollar record dot last name record dot last name and we have the first name and last name combination we have the email and we have created it also I will have uh, one more thing is name email phone number so title is equal to phone number or you can write phone phone data index is equal to phone number because in the mongodb we have stored as phone number so created it is also required the last one will be uh, approve or reject so here I just write approve we are going to check the uh, status and then we will modify these details and also status created it for the user also the status should be present status data index is equal to status that's all I think for the first time it will crash let's see doctors okay this is looking good but uh, for doctor yes we don't have email let's remove this we have only for the user even if you want you can combine with the user so Kevin uh, Tucker so what is the issue with this let me check card text so we'll be having the normal text like uh, index.css card title normal text the text uh, name itself is doctor the class name itself normal text cool so looking good but these are not matching with the details so let me use the span element directly 
span here also span yeah now everything is in the same manner so we can click on the approve so here you can see status is pending we are going to have approve now i will check the status by condition so here uh, we are having this approve right what i will do means if record dot status is equal to uh pending or if pending uh i'm going to write this mm, what is the issue here let's remove this curly braces because we are having only one oh it should be this and yeah so if record dot status is equal to pending we are going to show approve one more i will write if record dot status is equal to approved we are going to write block here you can see the status is pending there's a reason we got approve so now in the next lecture we are going to work on the action roles that means we can approve the user we can delete the user and we also applies with the doctor so the admin can approve the doctor request and he can also reject the doctor request so like this way we are going to work in the next lecture by this we have completed the admin panel thank you welcome back guys in the last section we have completed the notifications module in our application so now in this section we are going to work on the doctors list users list and approve and blocking the users and doctors so this section will be completely focused on the admin panel itself so i'm opening i'm closing this admin in the edge microsoft edge and i'll open in the chrome itself because i don't like the edge so let me log in with the admin in chrome itself sh admin One two three, okay. Yeah, sh admin at gmail dot com. Password one two three four five six seven eight. Login. Yeah, here you can see. Actually, we don't require this redirect to home page because anyhow we are redirecting. Uh, say the same to same time only. Okay, I log in with the admin. Why? Let me refresh. Yeah, sometimes my Chrome is having the cache. That's the reason it is doing like that. So now let's go to the users. Here you can see we don't have any screen. Doctors, we don't have any screen. So now uh, first we have to design two screens. Let's close everything. In the pages, I'm going to create a new folder, admin. So in this admin folder only, I'm going to write users list dot js and uh, doctors list dot js so these two pages are only accessible to admin that's the reason i kept it in the admin folder so to differentiate and uh, to for the readability and easy understanding so in the users list i'm going to write rfc and i'll remove this div default uh, layout layout so let me import the layout import uh, mm, layout from dot dot slash component slash layout yes what is the issue yeah so here i just write users list or else we can keep the page header h1 dot page header users list just copy this and replicate it for the doctors doctors list so here also i'm going to make it doctors list doctors list here also just write doctors list now i will go to the app.js i'll create the two routes for the both the users list and doctors list so just copy this and replicate 
so the first one with me admin slash users list then here also i will change the component name users list then copy the route again and replicate it for the doctors list doctors list or also we can use users and doctors we need not to put the list so i have already created it so i don't want to change format document now let's go to the components layout let's go to the admin menu so here uh, when we click on the users i am going to write admin slash users when we click on the doctors i am going to write admin slash doctors that's all now let's hit on the users uh wait okay users list actually admin slash users list admin slash doctors list let's come back and click on the users here you can see i got the users list and i got the doctors list so even for uh, this menu is changing uh, the menu width is changing whenever we click on this so instead what i will do i'll go to the layout.css uh we'll be having a menu item this is layout.css yeah menu item we'll be having right um mm, i just write width is equal to uh okay if we apply the width uh it will not be taken as the collapsible so when we click on the collapse it's going to be a problem so let's keep it like this only later we can adjust that so now this is doctors list and this is users list so in the users list we are going to perform query get all users and in the doctors we are going to perform get all doctors so first uh let me go and write two apis for the uh admin so i'm going to create a new route admin route dot js so here uh, i'm going to write const express is equal to require express const router is equal to express dot router now i'm going to write uh, router dot get mm, yes router dot get sorry let me remove this first of all we need models right const user is equal to require dot model slash user model actually it is user model in the similar manner we are going to have const doctor is equal to require model slash doctor model now i am going to write router dot post mm, yeah the snippets are not working let me write it from scratch or else let's copy any one of the api so actually it is a get request router dot get doctors or uh, let me write direct api endpoint with the understandable name get all doctors so everything will be same const uh doctors is equal to doctors is equal to await doctor dot find we are going to send all the doctors to the front end so message is equal to doctors fetch successfully success true and data is equal to doctors that's all in the similar manner we are going to write get all users get all users now here at the last uh users fetch it successfully users fetch it successfully and here user dot find that's all now we just need to write module dot exports is equal to router module dot exports is equal to router let's go to the server dot js and write const admin route is equal to 
const admin route is equal to require route slash admin route and here we are going to write the app.use for the admin so whenever an api request is coming with slash api and slash admin we are going to navigate the user to admin route we got an error already auth middleware is not defined you just have to import the auth middleware const auth middleware is equal to require mm, exactly i'll write here yeah now the error should be gone again it is crashing mm, okay we just need to write two more dots not like this now it should work uh, let's go to the user route and copy the import statement as it is now it's working so we are done with the endpoints for get all users and get all doctors so in the next lecture we are going to display the users and doctors list in the table in react thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the admin actions for the user and doctor so first if i go to the users i'll be having only one thing block because by default all the users will be approved so if we click on the block we are going to block the user by adding a status like blocked or something so leave about the user users will be normal so we are going to have the strict scenarios for the doctors so first if we click on the approve this user can be able to log in as the doctor that means right now if a venom uh, what this kevin vitaka so first let me delete all the junk data we will use the good data now except the admin credentials i am going to remove everything i'll remove venom delete i'll also messy go to the doctors also now we only have the admin we don't have any users we have we don't have any doctors here you can see we have only admin user so let me log out and create two users so this login got disturbed i don't know why uh, let me check once go to the register and login go to the login first mm, button okay 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 because of this login and okay we can keep it in the deflex deflex and also justify content justify content between now one should be at the right one should be at the left exactly and also align item center align items center looking cool mm. uh, actually one more thing we can do means uh, actually uh, initially when we are building this ui we have the full width button so let's keep like that only so for that we just need to have deflex flex column that's all it will be one by one and for this button uh, class name i'm going to write w100 w100 i will okay the reason why it is taking half width is so in the primary button we have written the class width is equal to max content that's the reason so i'm going to write one more thing mm. oh, oh how we can do i'll just write okay dot full width button 
full width button dot full width button width is equal to 100 percent important i am going to apply this class in the login full width button <coughs> yeah now it got applied even for the what it is so we don't require this div now just have link and uh, like this only yeah same output copy this class name and add it in the register also let's go to the register yeah so now i'm going to log in with arjun at gmail.com oh sorry arjun so arjun is the name username and uh, i'm going to write arjun at gmail.com is the email password one two three four five six seven eight register so now i'm going to have one more user so i'm going to keep this arjun as doctor and uh, varun varun at gmail.com password one two three four five six seven eight this i will consider as user okay now i'll open arjun account arjun at gmail.com password one two three four five six seven eight login so i got the user account of the admin open so i'm going to apply arjun last name is equal to kumar uh, phone number i just write nine six three nine six three nine six three two website arjun.com address like india specialization cardiology experience for fever consultancy 850 timings is equal to i just write 10 to 16 oh sorry 10 to 16 submit doctor account applied successfully so now uh, i'm going to close this logout i'll open the admin account sh admin one two three four five six seven eight login okay again the cache issue if i refresh i'll get to the admin yeah so here you can see the admin have two notifications now so let me go to the notifications so we have uh, two requests so already the first user is deleted and we have the second one so i'm going to click on the second one oh here also we need to change so actually this already stored because in the db the route is different so let me change the route in the db <coughs> if i go to admin or else uh, first i will uh, delete these notifications uh, mark all as seen delete all that's all now i'll go to the doctors so we have the clear cut doctor now arjun phone created it status pending and approve now i will open an incognito incognito yeah so incognito in this incognito i am going to open the same thing localhost 3000 so here i am going to log in with arjun credentials not admin arjun login so now arjun is present in the incognito who is applied for the doctor account and the admin is opened in the normal window both are chrome only so i am not going to use the uh, edge so now from the chrome main window that means in from the admin i am going to approve the arjun account as a doctor so even for the approving also the arjun will receive the notification like your doctor account has been approved so then only he could able to access all the doctor resources in the application like appointments all those things so now what i will do first um, let me go to the admins route
so from here the complex uh, the topics will be little complicated so you have to listen very carefully okay so just copy any one of this and replicate so this will be the post method and here the route will be change doctor status change doctor status so we are going to get the status from the front end whether it is approved or rejected or blocked so now uh, first we are going to write const doctor is equal to or else yeah already we got the dist structure now i am going to write const doctor is equal to await dot find one by id using the doctor id we are going to update the status that's all so admin will receive this thing now if the status is approved we are going to send the response as notification to the user so your doctor account approval request is success how we can do that so we already know the doctor id but we don't know the user id so we need to fetch both doctor id and user id from the ui while uh, calling this api let's go to the src because we can push notifications to only the user whoever it may be it may be admin role or doctor role user notifications will be present in only user model here you can see uh, let's go to the user model so even if it is a doctor or is admin the notifications will be common so every time if a, if you want to send a user notification to the admin or doctor or user you have to send it to the normal user model only then only it will work so to notify the doctor that your account is successful or approved you have to send a notification to the user account not the doctor account so here the doctor account status changes successfully but you have to mention the user id to send the notification so here we will receive the user id also along with this now so after completing the lecture you will understand better so now i am going to fetch the user const user is equal to first we have to find one that's it await user dot find one find one so underscore id will be user id now we are going to push the notifications so we already know how to do that so just put enter so already we have in the user route just copy the logic from somewhere mm, yeah apply doctor account so we have these notifications right just copy the complete logic and put it here so it should be user only yeah so i'll explain the code base now so first we are going to find the user then we are going to fetch the unseen notifications so const unseen notifications is equal to user dot unseen notifications then we are going to push a new notification to the user so type new doctor account request uh, will be changed to doctor account request changed changed so doctor account request changed so now in the message i am going to write so yeah so we have the first name and we have the last name oh sorry mm, yes it will be the doctor right yeah we have the doctor first name and doctor last name so suppose arjun is applied for the doctor account arjun kumar has changed his status to mm, no not like this the message will be your doctor account has been your doctor account has been so if it is approved we will pc message will be as your doctor account has been approved it will be rejected your doctor account has been rejected if it is blocked your doctor your account has been blocked so this will be the message so data we need not to send anything so we just need to send the message 
so on click path should be nothing on click path is nothing or else even uh, the same notifications only even if we click on the notif uh, the notification there won't be any change now the user find one by find by id and update so first we are going to change the doctor status then we are going to uh, intimate the user that your doctor account has been approved so as i said it is little complicated to understand but you have to follow so at the end i am going to give the documentation what we have done even in the starting also i have given the flow how it is going to be working so in the end also i am going to explain the complete document and project once again so until then you have to listen carefully so now from the user interface we are going to call this change doctor status from the admin panel so in this admin what we are doing here we are just finding the doctor and we are updating the status then we are intimating the user that your doctor account status is changed whatever it may be it is success failed anything now let's go to the um, okay here we are not sending any response right you just have to send the response response dot status 200 doctor account status updated successfully success true data doctor that's all now let's go to the pages doctors list so here we have approve so first of all we should have an api call let's copy this and put it here change doctor status change doctor status so here it will be post method will be post method and here we are going to receive the record and status what they are updating so in the payload we are going to send record dot underscore okay we just have to send the actual values so doctor id will be doctor id will be record dot underscore id because it will be the row id and user id will be same user id will be record dot user id and status will be status and this is the payload record dot user id record dot user id and this is the payload and we are going to call this change doctor status when we click on the approve or reject so on click so the first parameter will be the record and the second parameter will be the status approved same thing applies for the next one so if it is already approved we are going to block it block so here blocked that's all uh, i think we are good we just need to hmm where it is call this function so after changing the doctor status if it is success we are going to apply the set doctor's data okay after changing the doctor status we have to get all the doctors not only this so go to the admin mm after changing yeah so again we have to find all the doctors const doctors is equal to await doctors dot find in the data you have to send the doctors not only one doctor and you will be having set doctors or else so oh, okay we can do one thing you can send anything but here we can call the function get all doctors if it is success already we have the api call ready here oh actually it is get doctors data not users data get doctors only the function name will be changed not the logic so if it is success i am going to call the get doctors data once again that's all 
so this is also very huge logic for the first time we may face the errors but we have to resolve it one by one so in the chrome main window we have the admin account in the what it is arjun account uh, is in the incognito so once the doctor approves the arjun uh, uh, account from the admin arjun has to get the notification your doctor account has been approved and here also it show the status should be changed to approved so it's very huge logic as i said let's test this i'll open the network for the testing let's cross check the code once change doctor status we are going to record user id and doctor id and status here it is okay in the admin route we are retrieving doctor status and user id finding the doctor and changing the okay here we are sending two responses at a time no yeah so find one by id doctor by id and uh, status will be updated here it is good const user we are finding the user we are uh, sending the notifications to the user uh we don't require this and we are sending the success response if it is success again it is going to fetch all the doctors with the updated status yeah we have written the logic let's hope for the best and test so i am going to click on the approve i didn't see anything let's open network mm okay we have not changed the api call so change doctor so here slash admin slash change doctor status or doctor account status let me check change doctor status or else doctor account status would be better doctor account status here also change doctor account status that's all loading yeah once refresh approve so if anything goes wrong also we have to show the toast message in the error toast dot oh we are not having any toast messages here so let's import the toast first import toast from react hot toast react hot toast then if it is success we are going to show the message toast dot success response dot data dot message else toast dot error something went wrong error changing the doctor status anything yeah now let's hit the button it's loading approve error changing the doctor status so something it went wrong let's go to the back end mm where it is went wrong so we in doctor status post mm okay let's see what error it is 404 so the endpoint itself is wrong header slash api slash admin change doctor account status just copy this and put it in the back end okay <laughs> we have flipped the words actually approve super here you can see doctor status updated successfully and we also got the status is equal to approved here now let's go to the uh what it is arjun account so here we have to check the logic after refreshing uh, arjun should get a notification and menu should also be changed okay menu should be different because we have not uh, designed the menu for a uh, doctor yet only the admin uh, arjun should get the notification that his doctor account has been approved now i am going to refresh mm no we got an error refresh once again 
so i think arjun has not received any notifications so let's go to the db ones doctors users so we have the arjun unseen notifications no we don't have anything what is the issue let's go to the admin route so after status is changed successfully so cons user is equal to user dot find one so we are finding with the help of user id okay const unseen notifications is equal to user dot unseen notifications and unseen notifications dot put okay here it should not work you should have to write uh, user dot save then only it will work so we are updating the array right so you just have to write user dot save now let's go to the doctor and make the status pending only so here it is having approved right let's make it pending and again we are going to approve from the admin panel so the arjun will receive the notification now so this is the doctor refresh so what is this admin why doctor account admin got the doctor account mm something went wrong here first of all delete the notification if i go to the doctors so now i have to approve the arjun account let's go to the endpoint and cross check the logic ones so here the user id is nothing but a uh, varun user id not varun uh, arjun user id so we got arjun is the doctor so arjun notification notification should be pushed to the admin not for the uh, no arjun not for the admin so let's go to the doctors list once record record and change doctor status record user id should be record dot user id this should be arjun user id only not the admin record dot underscore id record dot okay hmm const user the account has been approved notifications okay let's try now i'm going to approve approved i'll refresh why we are getting notification to the doctor i am not understanding Admi arjun has to get the notification why it is going to this account hmm here you can see admin is getting the notification let's cross check in the users Arjun is not having any unseen notifications or seen notification. Admin is getting new doctor account changed message. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the doctors. So we are having the user ID in the doctor. To this user ID, we have to send the notification. Mm. We have to debug it. Change doctor account status. Doctor status user ID. Okay, okay, okay. I think uh, we are getting the user ID from the auth middleware. So if you go to the auth middleware, where it is, uh, auth middleware, auth middleware. middlewares where is the yeah here you can see we are attaching the user id of from the jw token that's the return the notification is going and storing in the uh, what it is mm, admin okay i got the issue so here what you have to do means you have this doctor right in this doctor you will be having the doctor dot user id so to that user id you have to send the notification 
so here instead of these just write doctor dot user id that's all now it should work perfectly as expected so the only issue what uh, why we have faced the errors is so here we are sending the user id from the client but our middleware is uh, overriding this user id and having the admin user id so the notification should not go to the admin the notification should go to the user that means arjun so now it should work i am going to change the status once again instead of approved i am going to make it pending update so the issue is with the uh, variables only having the same variables will cause like that refresh i'll mark as read delete all doctors so i'm going to approve it doctor account approved now if i refresh i should not see any notifications in the admin superb i don't have any notifications now i will go to the arjun so i think we should get let's hope for the best awesome here you can see i got the notification if i click on this i got your doctor account has been approved so now if i print the uh, user data in the console arjun will have is doctor is equal to true so i'll go to the protected route i'll go to the protected route and i'll print the data clg user so if i open console in the incognito tab i should get is doctor is equal to true here oh arjun okay you have to change is doctor also we are only updating the status we have to make is doctor is equal to true so yeah so by printing the console we got to see this error so let's go and fix that so whenever the status is changed we are going to uh, update the status also in the user not only in the doctor's collection we are also going to update in the user's collection go to the uh, what it is admin route mm. yeah so user dot find one uh, we are changing the notifications also i'm going to write user dot is doctor is doctor so is equal to i'm going to write if uh, status status is equal to approved it's true else it's false that's all now let's go to the uh, error what it is that means status and i'm going to have blocked oh sorry pending pending again go to the admin panel update unable to update no changes have been made okay actually it is pending only yeah no issue so now let's go to the admin and refresh so, okay why it is showing approved here oh, i have i have not refreshed yet yeah now i am going to make it pending pending update so now let's go to the admin refresh i am going to approve once again doctor status approved successfully so now if i refresh page i should get two first of all i will delete okay let me refresh yeah so because we have the two times the account got approved so i am going to make it mark all as seen and i'll delete the notifications and if i open the console i should get is doctor is equal to true that's all okay i made is admin is equal to true it's not is admin it's is doctor sorry for making the mistakes again and again no problem from the mistakes only we'll learn it's is doctor yeah so anyhow we have removed the notifications again i'm going to change the status to pending 
pending update now let's go to the admin refresh again approve status approved now let's go to the uh, uh, arjun account why the arjun account got changed to admin let's refresh okay arjun status is also got updated to uh, uh, okay okay got it because uh, previously we have written is admin is equal to true right i am going to make it is admin false for the arjun because the admin should be only one let's refresh yeah now if i open the console this time i should not see any errors superb here you can see i am getting is admin false is doctor is equal to true so now arjun is doctor admin is admin we have only one admin sh admin and we also have the user that means varun now from the next lecture onwards we are going to play around with the bookings or appointments thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the doctor profile screen so because before uh, we are going to start the booking flow that means appointment booking flow first we should have the doctor profile screen where the doctor can update his timing hours as well as his details then only we could able to display the doctor's details in the uh, home page so we are going to have a separate menu for the doctor first then we will be having a profile page in that profile page only a doctor can update his details so first let's go and create a new folder in the pages doctor and in this i'm going to write profile dot js so rfce react functional component export here i'm going to write layout layout and here h1 dot title h1 dot page title doctor profile so in this page only a doctor can update his details so now to navigate this profile we must have the screen so i am going to copy this route and paste it as slash doctor slash profile slash profile slash id or doctor id anything let's keep it doctor id doctor id and here also i am going to make it profile now let's go and add the menu for the doctor so already we have the user menu and admin menu now i am going to have doctor menu doctor menu so here uh let's have the home as it is appointments as it is and remove the apply doctor because he is already a doctor why we need apply doctor and profile these are enough so when we when they click on the profile it should navigate to the so okay doctor slash profile slash user dot underscore id with the help of user id we can fetch the doctor details in the profile so user underscore id now let's see first of all okay we just have to write the logic to render the doctor menu also so if the user is admin we are going to render the admin menu else if the user is doctor we are going to render the doctor else user menu that's perfect now let's see here you can see it got changed automatically because he is a doctor so that's the reason he got only appointments and profile so now if i go to the profile it should take me to the on doctor profile screen so this is normal user id only so we are going to pass this user id to the back end where we will get the doctor profile with the help of user id now let's go and write an api in the doctor okay now i am going to create the doctor's route doctor's route dot js so first const express is equal to require express const express is equal to require express then const router is equal to now i am going to write uh let's copy any one of the 
route so get user info by id copy this and put it here and the last one will be module dot exports is equal to router module dot exports is equal to router now i'm going to change the endpoint name get doctor doctor info by user id user id get doctor info by user id so we are going to get the user id and uh, so here we will find doctor not user so let's have doctor and here also we just need to import the doctor model const doctor is equal to require doctor model here also doctor now just get rid of everything and write response dot status send success true uh, doctor info fetched successfully data is equal to doctor and close this that's all if anything goes wrong error getting doctor info error getting doctor info so we have the api ready now let's go to the server and create the same doctor's route so const doctor route here also we need to do the same thing that's all so it got crashed uh, it is doctor's route again it got crashed auth middleware is not defined in the doctor's route let's import the auth middleware const auth middleware is equal to require dot dot slash middleware slash auth middleware this time i should not see any errors yeah i don't have any errors so we have the api ready let's go to the ui and create one component doctor form doctor form dot js so i'll tell you why i have created this component rfce so we are going to use the same form for both apply doctor page and uh, update doctor page so instead of having the separate separate we can use the reusable component so just go to the apply doctor page copy the complete form and put it in the doctor form put it in the doctor form so we just have to import some of the things so form needs to be imported and uh, row and call needs to be imported row and uh, call and also i think time picker button also button and uh, time picker so for this doctor form we are going to pass the on finish function on finish so whenever the form is submitted it is going to call the on finish function so if we use this component in the apply doctor page we are going to call the api apply doctor by on finish if we use it in the update profile we are going to call this on finish by using the update doctor profile page that's all so here it's very simple i'll just write doctor form on finish is equal to same here also on finish that's all so input is not defined in the doctor form let's import the input yeah now everything is clear now we have to use the same thing in the uh, what it is update also that means profile so we have this hr right i'm going we have this h1 right we are i'm going to keep one hr and i'll put the same <coughs> on finish so first of all let me import this doctor form so let's have this on finish i think it will throw the error on finish is not defined now let's go to the apply doctor copy this on finish function and put it here 
and copy whatever you have in the apply doctor put it in the do, uh, profile sorry it should not be in the doctor form it should be in the profile because in the profile we are going to have update function and also these things navigate use dispatch yeah i think we are good let's see so dispatch is not defined in the profile let's define that const dispatch is equal to use dispatch now if i expand this i am getting some errors can't resolve redux alert slays okay so here i should have a uh, two dots because it is a nested folder here also it should have two dots cannot resolve components layout where is layout here here also two dots more now there is no error so if i open the profile here you can see i got the doctor profile so i got personal information first name last name everything so now whenever this page is loaded i am going to call the api get doctor info by user id so let's go to the protected route here we are having this get user and use effect right copy this and put it in the profile remove this get user if condition remove this here i'll write get doctor data this is the function name and i'm going to replace the function name here and here slash api slash doctor get doctor info get doctor info by user id so this is the endpoint token we are going to send and uh, okay we will also send the request body uh, user id is equal to user dot underscore id this is the post method set user is not defined we don't require the set user we will require the doctor so here i'm going to write state i will write a state variable const uh, doctor and uh, set doctor is equal to use state initially it is null initially it is null use state and use effect needs to be imported use effect also okay set user where is this instead of dispatch all those things i'll just write set doctor response dot data dot data so even in the dispatch i don't have any errors in the else also i don't have any errors okay i think we are good response let's see so it got logged out because uh, we have written uh, by mistake local storage clear in the catch blocks so i have removed it so we just have to re-log in to avoid the issues mm. login with arjun credentials arjun is the doctor one two three four five six seven eight login so i'm getting an error don't know why let me check reading underscore id in the layout mm. where i am reading underscore id in the layout let me go and check layout line number 49 oh here i forgot to put the uh, question mark that's the reason it is throwing error uh, let's go to the layout now it should work yeah it is working now i'll go to the profile here also it is working so if i open the inspect and I, if i refresh the page 
I should get the doctor details. Get user info by ID. Where is the API call? The API call should go right in the doctor profile. Where is profile? Yeah, this is the profile. Get doctor data. So in the use effect only we are calling get doctor data API slash get doctor info by ID. Go to the um, what it is doctor route cross check the endpoint get doctor info by user ID. I could not see any API call in the network. Let me refresh. No, I think there is an error in the um, null in the protected route. We are having this console statement. Please remove that first protected route remove the console clear reload user is not required hmm. why the api call is not going doctor slash profile uh, profile slash user id hmm. Actually, we don't require this user ID also because anyhow we are having the state in the what it is uh, uh, your red user mm, or else if you want to use that also you can use no issues. Mm, why get user? Oh, doctor's route apply doctor and where is the profile? Yeah, this is the profile. So get doctor data, it is calling in the use effect. Doctor profile. Why it is the... Okay, I got the issue. So here you can see we, <laughs> we are sending two payloads. That's the reason it is getting crashed. So here I am by mistake uh, while copying, I kept the token as it is. Yeah, I have removed it. Yeah, now the API call is going. Let's open network. Get doctor info by user ID. Data is equal to null. Why it is null? So in the payload, we send the user ID. Let's go to the endpoint. Doctor's route. So doctor dot. Okay, so here we should find based on the uh, find one by ID doctor slash find one by user ID we are going to find with the help of user ID not the underscore doctor ID now we should see where is it let me refresh network again I am not seeing this what I will do means in the UI I am going to print the error user id user dot underscore id ok response if there is anything wrong I am going to print the error in the console nothing got printed in the console yeah here you can see cannot read properties of null underscore id so it is calling the api before the page is rendered that means before the user is set so to avoid that what we can do means we can have the user id from the url so const params is equal to use params use params now i'll just write doctor okay params dot dot doctor id doctor id is nothing but user id only so i'll remove your confusion so you'll understand you'll 
it is not doctor id it's just id or else you can keep it user id anything just i'll keep it id okay i'll keep it user id only because the things are getting little complicated i'll keep the user id so we are calling an api to fetch the doctor information by using the user id so here also i will use the same thing where is it uh params dot user id api call is going no error in the console network that's all here you can see we got the doctor data now we are going to pass this doctor data to the form to pre-populate the data while we are updating so it is very simple we just need to pass the initial values for the form initial values is equal to doctor initial values is equal to form we are going to receive these initial values here and here i'll just write initial values is equal to normally initial values and we have one more condition so until unless we got the doctor we should not fetch this so if doctor is true then only we have to fetch the form or else it will crash so by default the doctor should be null yeah so let's refresh okay got crashed inspect so data dot clone is not a function type error so this error uh, is due to the moment hmm got it so we have to do a lot of things now uh, with due to these time picker issues so right now what i will do for the time being in the next lecture i will resolve it so we will have a lot of issues with the time picker so right now in the doctor form i am going to hide the time picker timings then it will load so in the next lecture we will work on the complete timings part superb here you can see everything got loaded now it's loading so let me write the update api also now itself so let's go to the uh, route doctor's route so router dot post update doctor update doctor profile so find one and uh, update <coughs> or else find one and update we are going to find using any one of the user id or anything or else we have one more option find by id and update that would be better or find user by id and update anything would be fine so um, let's remove this find one by id and update we are going to find using the user id and uh, not required set is not required complete request dot body that's all so we are going to get the complete new request body from the ui so find one and update that's all we are going to complete the we are going to update the complete body now let's hit this api doctor info updated successfully doctor info updated or doctor profile updated success successfully error updating so anyhow we are not showing this in the front end update doctor profile <coughs> this is the endpoint let's go to the profile on finish put this here update doctor profile so user id values so anyhow we will be having the user id hmm okay let's hit the api uh, what we can change means i'm going to change the experience to 5 submit something went wrong let's check what went wrong update doctor profile 
so the api endpoint itself is wrong okay it is doctor not user doctor now let's hit refresh i'll make it 5 submit doctor profile updated successfully now i'll go to the profile here you can see i got 5 so i'll update the fee per consultancy initially it was 850 now i'm going to make it 950 submit updated profile 950 so doctor profile is done the only thing is timings so i am going to work on the timings in the next lecture thank you welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to work on the timings in the doctor form so this is one of the very important lecture because we have to perform lot of filtering and calculations with the help of the timings only so we cannot store the default time sure directly in the mongodb we have to store in the specific format so if you go to the uh, doctor profile so where is it doctors so if you observe the timings here it is taking the complete including date and time i don't want this i want time should be hh mm format hours and minutes that's all i don't want all this shit so now what i will do so while updating first we are going to change the okay i am not sure whether we have install moment or not i am going to install moment npm i moment npm i moment it got installed i'll restart the server so let me write logic for that import moment from moment moment from moment so while sending the values i am going to format the timings so timings should be an array so the first one will be moment of values of 0 values dot timings of 0 so that means from time it should be converted to format hh and mm that's it hours and minutes we are not going to store date in the time i don't want that here it should be two time so because in the range picker we are going to get the uh, indexes the first index is from and the second index is to so we are going to store time in the form of hh and mm so first uh, let's uh, the server needs to be restarted let's wait for that all right here you can see the server got restarted so now i am going to update the timings so here uh, let's go and enable the timings first i think it will crash don't get panic i am going to resolve everything it will crash yeah it got crashed so this is because <coughs> the time picker will take values in specific format only this so while adding it will uh, it won't crash because there won't be any values while adding by default but here we have to populate the values so now what i will do means first i am going to uh, change the values hard codely so i'll just write uh, 07 colon 002 09 colon 00 i am going to update it why this is like this yeah update so now it is having in the form of hh mm even while updating and while adding also so let's add uh, in the adding also we have to do the same logic so we will forgot later let's add now only timings go to the apply profile 
where is it yeah apply doctor so we have these on finish right here let's keep those so i think moment is not there let's import moment yeah so now let's go to the doctor form so in this doctor form we will be having the initial values so initial values also having the timings but they are not specific and they are not supported in the entity hhmm is not supported in the entity so we have to convert that format to the supported format in entity so first what i will do means i am going to have one more uh, object here so i am going to keep the initial values as it is now i will write uh timings so i am going to update the timings to a specific format timing should be it should be an array and in this i am going to write the first one will be yeah i already got the suggestion so it is having the format hh and mm and here also i am going to have moment dot initial values of 1 hh and mm moment is not defined so we have to tell the entity that my timing is in this format now go to the timings here uh, we have the time picker right just have the format and use the same format hh and mm that's all i think it should work let's see superb that's all we need here you can see the time got populated successfully 7 to 9 let's refresh superb now let's try to change the timing so i am going to make it 7 to 13 7 to 13 i made it 7 to 13 update now let's go to the profile 7 to 13 that's all so now we have the timings now let's go and cross check in the db timings yeah here you can see how beautiful it is looking so instead of having long string for the time it is too difficult to understand also so now it is very simple 7 13 so based on your country time zone all those things it will be changed anyhow while filtering and all those things so right now these are enough so now we have the doctor profile also ready so in the home page first we have to display the list of doctors available in the application and based on that we are going to follow the bookings and appointments so first i am going to create one more user one more doctor so i am going to have register so the doctor name will be venkat venkat email will be venkat123 at gmail dot com password 1234567 register so i'll remove this redirecting to message from all the pages uh go to the login success let's remove this and also registration remove this <coughs> yeah now let's try to login i log in with venkat credentials 1234567 login so let's refresh my google chrome is having the cache issue as i said so it is taking the last user credentials i am not sure why yeah so now i got the venkat so venkat is a user now or else uh, here we can display on that on on bottom of sh we can display the role whether user or doctor or admin so let's do that so instead of confusing we will have the better so go to the layout so this is logo right so i'll just write one h1 dot normal text 
normal text uh, same i'll copy this logic i'll copy this logic or else const role is equal to role is equal to yeah already we got this so if role is admin admin is doctor doctor else user so i'm going to put the role here let's see it's normal text it's normal hmm it's taking huge or else i'll write a, a class called as role let's go to the layout 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 where it is mm, dot css yeah layout dot css go to the logo bottom of this logo i'm going to write role so role i'm going to write color white font weight is not required font size i'm going to write very small uh, 14 pixels yeah and i'll write margin top margin top margin top minus 20 pixels margin top minus 20 pixels let's see yeah this is perfect sh user so if it is admin we are going to have uh, admin if it is doctor we are going to have doctor now i'm going to apply for the doctor account so apply doctor is also crashed because in the apply doctor we will not be having the initial values that's the reason it got crashed so this is expected scenario only now let's go and write that so go to the doctor form so in the doctor form we just have to write if initial values present so if initial values present only then we have to do all these things so i'll write Mm. quotes that's all so here it is showing invalid time and invalid time uh even it should not come to here also so for that what you can do means uh you can write this complete timing prop in the conditional rendering dot 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 so if initial values and then only you should render that property okay oh sorry it has gone by mistake first you have to copy these timings then you have to check the condition if dot 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 put the curly put the parenthesis and write if initial values initial values then only you should have the time pro timings property yeah now it should not crash and it also needs to show the normal time instead of invalid still it is invalid yeah now it is normal superb now let's go and apply the doctor account for venkat venkat last name will be ram phone number 8529637423 something like that and venkat@gmail.com address is equal to hyderabad and specialization is equal to neurology neurology experience 9 fee per consultancy 500 timings is equal to 8 2 12 submit that's all doctor account submitted successfully so now uh, i am going to open the admin account sh admin so now the admin should receive a notification for the doctor account approval login still it is showing the venkat if i refresh i'll get the admin here you can see i got the admin because of the cache so now i'm going to the notifications so here you can see 
Venkat Ram has applied for the doctor account. So I'm going to click on this. So again, it is navigating to the admin slash doctors. Mm -hmm -hmm. It is the issue. Okay. So let's go to the back end. Uh, user route. So we'll be having the apply doctor account, right? So here, uh, instead of admin slash doctor, what is the endpoint? Admin slash doctors list it is. Admin slash doctors list. So there also you just have to do the same thing. Users route admin slash doctors list. So from the next time, if you create any uh, doctor account approval, it will navigate to the exact route only. So even uh, if you want to change in the DB, we can change it by going to the users and go to the admin where it is. Yeah, this is admin. Let's go to unseen notifications. So instead of doctors, let's make it doctors list update. Now let's refresh the page. Now if I click on this, it should take us to the doctors list. Here you can see doctors list. I'm going to approve the Venkat. So approve. So it got approved. Now I'm going to clear my notifications. Mark all as seen. I'm going to delete all. Log out. So let's refresh everything. So now I'll use the let's see inspect local storage yeah everything got clear now i will log in with the venkat so venkat should get a notification like your doctor account is approved two three four five six seven eight superb here you can see venkat got the notification if i go to the notifications your doctor account has been approved so even if you click on this it won't go anywhere because there is no on click for this so I'll just mark all as seen. Scene is equal to delete all. Oh, delete all. That's all. So by this, we have completed the doctor profile as well as the patchwork also pending things. Here you can see it is it is good highlighting doctor. So in the next lecture, we will be working on the home page. In the home page, we will be displaying the list of doctors. When we click on that, it is going to the doctor profile page, all those things. Thank you.